Markets are scary. And when people say they are, I don't blame them. In fact, I agree with them. When the markets are going down and you're seeing those red numbers, that hard earned wealth, when you see it goes down, if that felt good, I would say that's weird. And I would laugh at it because truly, when the market goes down, you should not feel good about losing money. If you did, I would say, well, all of a sudden, we have a different problem going on here. So why do we look at planning differently? Why even consider partnering alongside Root? Well, what we do is we understand that it is not fun when your money goes up and down. But when your money is going up and down, ask yourself one question. And this is a question we ask our clients. When do you need the money? If you need the money to buy your dream home in the next few years, we will advise not investing it. Why would we want the market to impact our ability to get into that dream home? But if you tell me that your goal is to retire early or to be able to have the freedom to retire and really that financial freedom to be able to pursue what you care about most, maybe it's traveling, maybe it's switching careers, maybe you've been putting off something in life that you say, you know what, I just haven't done it because of my finances. Well, the market is scary, but I look at the market like this. When you look at investing, there's two main risks. The first risk is one that you're very aware of right now. The risk that it is not fun when your money goes up and down. But that's happening in the short term. And so if you need to do anything in the next few years, you wanna buy a home, you wanna make a big purchase, I say don't let the market dictate your ability to do that. But if you want to be able to retire, if you want to be able to retire early and have money for 30, 40 plus years and never run out and be able to do all of the things that you want to do, well, that second risk is what we call purchasing power risk, is the risk that your money continues growing faster than you. And what I mean by that is that groceries, they cost more in the future. Gas, it's going to cost more in the future. So how do we protect against that? Well, one way to protect against that is by owning the companies that raise their prices. I have an iPhone. When my iPhone costs more, well, how do I protect against inflation? I own Apple. Apple raises their prices. I get to participate in the growth of that. So in the short term, by owning pieces of the market, by owning real companies, it can feel scary because your money is going up and down. So we have a conversation about your goals. And if you want to get into a home, if you want to travel, if you want to make a big purchase, maybe there's a boat or there's a car, great, let's not have our money be going up and down because if it's doing that, it might mean we don't get to accomplish that goal. But if you have another goal that you tell me that you don't need that money for five, 10, 15, 20 years, well, I would say the safest thing you could do is invest it. Because although in the short term it's going up and down, in the long term, it's actually the safest thing you can do. So I invite people who reach out, review the way you view risk. There's short term risk and there's long term risk. In the short term, owning stocks can be very risky. But in the long term, owning stocks might be the safest thing that you can do. Own the companies that raise their prices so you get to participate in that growth. And ultimately, stocks have been proven to be a wonderful way to do it. But once again, as a fiduciary, we don't care what investment you choose. We don't care if we use Vanguard, Dimensional, Fidelity. We care about what investment is right for you, which is why the way we're compensated is by happy clients who continue to see value. We're never compensated by any specific product, by any commission. Those don't even exist at Root. The only way we make money is by you as a client who continues to see value in our services.